What is up everyone? This is Sword King 090 and this is going to be Operation Bedrock episode 235, the 235th episode of the Operation Bedrock series. A series where my friends and I are going to be mining the entire world if there's nothing but bedrock left, except for the floral cores because we need something flat to walk on. So, what has changed? What is different? I'm not even too sure. Just mainly that, again, with the school and work, it's been keeping me busy. Especially work when I've been called in to actually fill in for another employee who didn't show up. So I have no idea what's going to happen with that employee, but uh, you just never know, honestly. I think that the employee's not going to be working there anymore, so that's going to be another option for another person to actually take its place. But for now, who knows how things are going to go. Maybe another employee is going to have a little bit more hours, or maybe that I'm going to have more hours. We don't know. Which, I'm not complaining that I'm going to have more hours, just as long as that we're not shorthanded. And for the past three nights in a row, we have been shorthanded. So something has to be different, something has to change around that, because it's very, very frustrating to be shorthanded. Really, it is. <laughs> Especially when you're closing the night shift. The morning shift has nothing to worry about unless they're shorthanded in the morning, which it has happened before, but that's just another deal. I've already experienced that before, but three nights in a row, that is just frustrating, annoying, and just plain wrong. <laughs> so maybe we're going to actually get more employees to not have that sort of problem, but you just never know what's going to happen. But all that aside is that... As long as I'm getting paid for the hour and every hour and it's actually good money on the side, well, technically it is good money, more money than making YouTube videos, then I shouldn't really complain. That's, it's just one of those things that it has happened and I just want to talk about it, and especially when I actually wanted to do another live stream on Friday night. I planned on doing two live streams, but I was only able to get one. So that's another thing. And speaking of live streams, more and more people are showing up. Some people I've never seen before. So that's always a plus because who knows that they actually are watching this video right now. And if you are that new person, let me know just by commenting down on this video as well. That just let me know like like this video in itself like what do you think about this video as time goes on especially with the future videos i'm always looking for feedback because i rarely ever get it i honestly rarely ever do and the feedback i do get i usually respond to that feedback so all it is is that if we have a discussion then that's one way to talk to me and as well as another way to talk to me is during the live stream as well but again i like to see feedback of how am i doing on this type of video what you guys think any suggestions you could actually give me or anything else you just want to bring up for the video or make a new discussion just by all means feel free to do so and by chance if you hear star in the background she's sleeping on my bed so that's the thing she is just so adorable, I didn't want to kick her out of my room just for a video. So, that's going to be a thing. All I can tell you is that school is going to keep me busy. Is that right now, as of this point, I'm going to have to make a review on a movie that I need to see. And as well as that, I'm going to have to make a presentation for the next week. Or the week after, actually. This week, technically, well, I'm trying to remember... This upcoming week, I won't have a presentation to make, but the next week afterwards, I'm going to have a presentation. And hopefully, all the speech classes I've taken, and as well as that with all the other presentations I have made in the past, then I'll be able to do well. All I know is that with taking speech, speech classes is actually pretty fun. Because it has helped me improve in actually speaking in these commentaries. Yes, I know I make mistakes, but in the long run and for the majority of the commentaries, you would rarely ever hear me say uh or um if you've actually been paying attention. Not maybe people have, because sometimes it's one of those things that you just drone out. But ever since that, I've learned the techniques of how to avoid saying uhs and ums. And any time that I actually hear that within a commentary or within a video in its own, then it's very, very noticeable. There's a reason why there's a lot of people who do a lot of jump cuts when it comes to vlogging. More than often, they're probably cutting out the uhs and the ums. Because it just shows that you just don't know what you are talking about or that you don't know what else to say. And it's kind of awkward when you keep hearing that every single sentence. It would be just like hearing so like, so yeah, so like, so yeah, every single sentence. You know what I mean. You hear that from a lot of people and usually it happens in commentaries rather than rather, whether, sorry, whether, not rather. 
I always mix up my R's and my W's. That is my most common mistake whenever I'm making a commentary. So I cannot do anything about that unless there's another technique that I need to learn how to even do that. But back to the subject, it's whether they even realize it or not. Sometimes they don't. And it is an honest mistake. Not many people realize a lot of sense fillers that they do say unless somebody points it out. And I know that a lot of people point out my sense fillers and some of them I actually catch on and try to change. But the thing is, is that if you have one bad habit, you have another one to replace the previous one. So that is a thing. And that is also a sense filler. Whenever I say that is a thing, it's, it's just whatever it happens, it happens is that you can't control it. If you say one thing, you'll say a different thing after you quit saying one thing. It's just like a catchphrase. Everybody has a catchphrase. Again, whether they realize it or not, they actually do. It's like their go-to phrase. Anytime something happens, that's the thing that they will say. Because the last thing I've said before, the fact of the matter is, that's what I used to say a lot. And now, I say something different. I don't know what it is right now, but if I could actually figure it out, I could tell you later on. So it's kind of funny how communication and human language works for a lot of people. It's just like I said before, it is like a go-to phrase that everybody says. One way or another, there's a catchphrase that everyone says. And sometimes you even pick it up from a different person. You may have not said it before, but when you heard someone say it and it sounds good, then you just say it as well. So it's kind of weird how that works now, doesn't it? But it's interesting of how unavoidable that is. Really, it is. But like I said before, it's just one of those things that you cannot control. <laughs> because it's kind of fun just to think about what were the like past catchphrases that I used to say in that sort of aspect. And I know myself that I'm making a lot of jump cuts. One, it is because I am sick. And two, it's because I have a little bit of a canker sore still that's healing up. It's still healing up, but every once in a while, I start to slur and then I just don't want to leave that in there. So I will actually just cut that out and just redo a line or redo whatever I was saying. And as well as sometimes I just need to take a breather, especially when I'm sick and then the phlegm just starts building up little by little and just very, very awkward just to start speaking when there's a little bit of an obstacle in the way. And you guys know what I mean by that. It's that sometimes I just have to cough the phlegm out. Very, very bad, but it's a thing that happens if you're sick. And that is because I have another lack of sleep type of moment. That one hour of sleep I got the other night because of the stress of trying to get an assignment done, that didn't do me any justice. I tried to sleep. At that point, I was so stressed out that I tried to sleep for two hours. I turned off the lights and I just tried to go to sleep. I just pretty much stayed still for a good two hours and nothing happened. And that what frustrates me even more that when I'm trying to sleep, it just doesn't happen. And that's what keeps me up even further. So it's just an endless cycle of self-destruction. I hate that. It's like a little bit of insomnia. And I'm pretty sure I do have a little bit of a case of insomnia every once in a while where I struggle to go to sleep, especially whenever I have an active imagination to the point where it's the thing that actually keeps me up. And yes, there are sleep aids, but the thing is that I really don't want to take those because then my body will have a little bit of an independence or sorry, dependence. There's a difference in the two words. It'll have a dependence on it. And if I stop taking it, then my body actually struggles to fall asleep because I rely too much on the sleeping aid. So that is a thing that I try to avoid. I used to take it like once every night or at least three times a week. But when my body just wouldn't sleep because I wasn't taking it, that's when I knew I had to stop. The only reason for me to take it if is if I am extremely sick and then I just go ahead and take some NyQuil to help me fall asleep while I have a cold or a flu. But I'm not at that stage. It's that I'm just at the stage where every once in a while I am coughing and every once in a while I just have phlegm building up. Interesting to know. A little bit of TMI, but it's not that bad, isn't it? That's not that bad. If anything else, it's more informative for anybody else who are actually taking sleep aids. That one of the things I could actually just say, the one that could actually help out a lot, is actually putting on earplugs. That... It helps you sleep because it actually just blocks out a lot of the noises and then you have a good night rest rather than just waking up in the middle of the night of the slightest little sound. The only fallback to it is, is that, again, you're pretty much deafening out every sound. So 
that is just the thing that may not be suitable for anybody else who may be like a little bit paranoid of what that sound could have been that you just didn't hear. For me, I just, I don't really care at that point. I leave my room completely dark, and the only light that I do have is just coming off from the electronics every once in a while, and as well as the clock on the bed still. And it's, even, it's kind of bright, honestly. I need to actually dim it down, but I can't even see the time anyways. I don't know why I have it there, honestly. But yeah, that's the thing that actually helps me sleep, just keeping my room pitch black, and as well as that I wear the earplugs so that it blocks out all the noise. And especially when the family wakes up early in the morning, and as well as the dogs themselves, they are very loud whenever they start barking. So those earplugs really help me sleep, especially if they start barking at the middle of the morning. So that is how I sleep, and pretty much I sleep like a brick. Don't you just love it when the discussion or the commentary just goes to a different topic entirely? You're watching a Minecraft video, but what else can I say about Minecraft? Because there's already 235 episodes of Operation Bedrock, so every week is just essentially a vlog for me just to talk about random topics that is pretty much suited for the week. Because if I were to say something about Minecraft, it's just I have a lot more layers to go. I still got the good old 43 layers, if I'm not mistaken. Same thing as last week. But the thing is, as I said before, is that school and work is what takes away the time for me to work on Operation Bedrock and as well as Operation Blackout. So I try my best. If I have a lot of free time, at least for the day, then that's when I actually make a live stream so that we can have more work done within Operation Bedrock or Operation Blackout or even doing a Let's Play or a different game every once in a while. But again, I enjoy doing the Let's Plays and I do enjoy doing the live streams so that I could have more work done. And it just shows behind the scenes like this is thing. This thing is not going to be done within a week. It is not going to be done with, even within a month or even a year that everything takes work. And the behind the scenes is what you see little by little by little because the work has to get done and it doesn't get done all by itself. But if I have to ask you a question, is that are you guys enjoying school so far? So let me know in the comment section below. As for myself, not so much. I do have one class that's at least once every week and then another two, uh, class that's twice every week. And again, that I'm taking these classes for a degree in media art. So if by chance that YouTube just never works out for me, at least I could have something to do with media. I'm not going to be a journalist. I'm not going to do something else like that. More likely, it's going to be an online or at least TV personality type of deal. At least I have a microphone that I could actually use for voiceovers or voice works. All I got to do is just look for a vocal coach if I can even talk right. This is why I need a coach. I need a coach for vocals so that I could actually work on making good voiceovers. Just, I need to learn how to do so. One of the things is that sometimes you may have to exaggerate on the things you are saying because you are putting up a show. And usually I don't really like to do that. I try to at least maintain a conversational tone just towards you guys. The only time when I need to put up a show is if I'm actually doing a live stream. And even then that gets old very, very quick and also wears you out. It's just like smiling for hours upon hours. It starts to hurt after a while. Not many people could actually keep it up. And I envy those who actually just keep smiling for hours and hours and hours to the point where it's kind of creepy. You know who they are. You see them every once in a while whenever you're at work or at, well, at a place that they require you to smile. Sometimes it's just over creepy. I don't, I don't mind to have like a normal type of facial expression but whenever you see them smiling all the time and if it does it just seems like it doesn't suit them don't force them to always smile i'm the type of person that doesn't always smile obviously but <laughs> i try my best and after a while it just hurts i don't know how to keep that up for so long i know i keep going off topic but again what else am i supposed to say what else can i say we're just mining up a lot of gravel and as well as dirt, stone, and some occasional iron and coal around. We found some lava spots before and we got rid of a lot of them. We've already found two dungeons. Maybe we'll find a third dungeon by the time that we get towards the bottom. Who knows if we're going to find more diamonds along the way. It's just one of those things. 
So to get this out of the way, and I'm gonna go ahead and put four torches down because I really don't wanna lose any blocks. I don't mind losing stone because we could easily make stone out of a cobblestone generator and smelt the stone, but to lose gravel and to lose dirt, which is not renewable, that's a problem. Because what I wanted to do with all that is that I'm putting in a chest for a lot of people to have once we put this up for download. And then all you gotta do from here is just build. The world is your canvas. You just have a lot of blocks to use. Just not the newer blocks that you get from the mesas, the ocean monuments, the, well, the savannas and things like that. We don't have any of those blocks. Just the old blocks that you have in vanilla alpha beta Minecraft. But that is all for now. This is where I'm going to end things off is that we still got a lot of work to do. And hopefully once school is over, things will pick up. There's another topic that I really want to talk about, but I'm not too sure about the information of it just yet. More than likely, I will probably talk about it next week as time goes by and I'm pretty much like assured that it's going to happen. Or even by speculation, that's going to be another topic. So that's going to be a cliffhanger for you guys. But just let me know if you're from the live stream. Let me know in the comment section below that you like to watch the live streams. And as well as that, what do you think about this video? And what do you think about my commentary of any of the topics I've discussed in this video on its own? So, in any case, this is the end of this video. So, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. If you're brand in the channel, then please subscribe for more videos, content, and live streams. But until then, I want to thank Why Try Guys, Papa Legs, Flats Flounder, and as well as it's Steve X98 or Mr. Inflammable and Hero SMO. So, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. I'm SwordKing090, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.